Welcome back. All this week, we've been talking with 4th District Congressional candidates about their campaigns ahead of the upcoming election next month. ABC 17 News anchor Lucas Geisler sat down with Kalina Bruce to talk about what she would do if elected. Joining us now in our interview series for 4th Congressional District candidates is Kalina Bruce. Mrs. Bruce, thank you for making the time and being here. Just to start things off, what should people know about you? Well, thanks for having me. Super excited and grateful to have the opportunity to be here with you this evening. Um, for me, uh, what I think is most important for folks to know um, is that, uh, you know, I'm one of you. I am a small business owner, um, a farmer, fifth generation, um, raising cattle here in the fourth district. My family's lived here for over five generations. We're still farming the same ground we've been farming um, for 117 years. So um, the district is very important to me. The people are very important to me. Um, we're very highly active in our community and, you know, in the state and even nationwide uh, from a perspective of uh, advocating for rural America and advocating for our values. You mentioned that we hear a lot about farmers being in this race and people's connection to farming. You, of course, sport endorsements from the Missouri Farm Bureau, uh, fr support from Governor Mike Parson as well, a fellow cattle rancher himself. Going to Congress, Mrs. Bruce, what, what do people need to understand about the, the sort of the relationship between Congress and agriculture? And, and what are you going to do to advocate for rural Missouri, as you said? Absolutely. So I think the biggest thing that people um, can tie to ag right now is their increased food prices, right? When you're going to the grocery store um, or putting your order in online, your, your food prices are up substantially. And uh, that is a, you know, a reflection mostly on gas prices right now on transportation costs. Mm -hmm. um, but farmers and ranchers are, are putting the crops in the ground and, and, and laying the groundwork for next year's food prices, right? and our input prices are through the roofs and um, the important piece of agriculture um, in policy making is that we have a farm bill and that farm bill is there to make sure that farmers and ranchers can provide a, an affordable food supply um, and a constant food supply to all consumers um, without, uh, without it breaking the bank, right? So yeah. when we have a drought, when we have a wildfire, when we have things like supply chain issues that um, are, are constantly uh, bringing our prices up on the farm and, and making it harder for us to do our job, the farm bill is there to make sure that those one-off things do not pass through to the consumers. It's a tool that we have as farmers and ranchers um, to make sure that we're continuing to pr provide the most safe, affordable food supply um, for the nation. And it's a very important piece of what uh, Missouri does. Agriculture is Missouri's number one industry. Now, you mentioned inflation. Of course, I think no matter what political party you're a part of, you notice it just costs more to buy stuff right now. What, what are you going to do? What is the relationship that you see that Congress can have on reducing and getting and tamping down this inflation? What can you do and what are your ideas to help out with that? So for me, you know, I'm a certified public accountant. Uh, that's the small business that I have and that I own. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing so for 14 years now. And and being, um, you know, in a rural area, being a certified public accountant, we're, we're a jack of all trades. We have clients from every walk of life, um, running every type of business. And, and as we're getting out and campaigning with people and, and hearing from people, that's the number one thing that's hitting them right now. We have a lot going on um, in the political world. There's a lot going on in our nation. But the one overreaching thing that we all have in common right now is inflation. And so the first thing that we can do um, as, a con as a Congress, and hopefully in the 118th Congress, which will start in 2023, um, is make America in energy independent again. That's going to be crucial. From there, my campaign slogan is clean up Congress, and that's exactly what we intend to do. We intend to cut the wasteful spending, cut the duplicity in programs, make sure that our dollars are being spent wisely. And we had a ton of money being dumped into the economy really quickly with COVID. Um, and while a lot of that money was necessary to keep small businesses um, afloat, some of it was a little bit superfluous. Uh, and so we have to make sure um, that we kind of uh, are, or tighten our belt, so to speak, and that we, we uh, watch where our dollars are spent. You know, here in Missouri, we are very lucky. We have a balanced budget, and that's something that's in our constitutional state budget. Um, but we aren't so, uh, we don't have that same luxury on the federal level. And it's something that I will strive for every day. 
um, is to make sure that we we are working towards having a balanced budget that we can get that done um, and that we can uh, bring back the inflation that's that's hurting every American. So it's not going to be just a one one answer thing, but there's a lot that we can do right off the bat um, when Republicans take back the House and I intend to hit the ground running doing so. If only it were as easy as one answer, right? This is Kalina Bruce. Thank you very much for the time and talking to our viewers about your campaign. Thanks for having me.